Hello everyone. This short video illustrates a few uncertainty visualizing or sensitivity analysis tools that you may find practical if you're about to do simulation modeling, especially if they are related to valuing uncertain projects with cash flow calculations. The topics covered shortly are tornado diagrams, line graphs, scatter plots, and contribution to variance charts. A tornado diagram is a type of sensitivity analysis graph that provides a visual representation of the degree to which the model outcome is sensitive to the model's input variables. Uh, it shows the relative importance of different input variables and it is constructed by changing one variable at the time and then the change in the outcome is calculated in comparison with the baseline value. As such, tornado diagram approach is a local sensitivity analysis method. Tornado diagrams can be made with ordinary spreadsheet programs, so it doesn't require any simulation software. Line graphs illustrate how much the expected output value changes as a result of percentage changes in input parameters. Unlike tornado diagram, it visualizes and takes into account the non-linearities of the model. However, it does not either reveal the probability of the percentage change in input parameter value. For example, it's much more likely that the interest rate would increase by 50%, because currently the interest rates are so low, while it's very often unlikely that material costs would increase by that much. Next, we move on to scatter plots. I strongly suggest you to take different kinds of visual snapshots and illustrations of your data, whether you are doing statistics analysis or sensitivity analysis. It may be that the data you are using or the model you are constructing ends up having some non-random patterns. And as is the case with statistical analysis, it may also violate your results and sensitivity analysis. For example, in this scatter plot uh, on this slide, you can see that there seem to be two different groups of data. Whether it's the case of modeling or statistical analysis, you probably like to treat those two cases in a different manner from each other. In that sense, modeling uncertainty is like project management itself, about choosing timely between the blue pill and the red pill. Standardized linear regression coefficients and nonlinear rank correlation sensitivity analysis are based on finding how much of the variability in output can be explained by each input variable of the model. As such, these methods are both global sensitivity analyses and measures. They take into account how much on average a given input causes variability given that also other input variables are changing. A contribution to variance chart explains how much each input parameter can explain the output parameter uncertainty or variance. This contribution to variance is calculated by squaring the regression or rank correlation coefficients and then by normalizing the results to 100%. In practice, the contribution to variance chart is easier to interpret than the rank correlation version, so I suggest using this contribution to variance chart instead. That's all this time. We'll discuss and continue from these themes during the next seminar session.